good morning to this gloomy and very foggy day. Today we're doing a pre-sale detail and we're going to run you through how we do it, what is involved in a pre-sale. Mr. Roberts here. I like it. You should buy it. Nah. Look at it. We've got enough bloody toys. So I was just saying we're going to show them how we do a pre-sale today. Oh yeah? Yeah mate. Oh, yeah. A surprise, any he? He didn't know. So we're going to run you through how we do a pre-sale, how we get it ready for the owner to sell it. Um, these Hiluxes are super prone to getting very chalky paint. This one's not too bad. He's, uh, he sprayed this roof uh, the bottom scoop already. So, it's hard to see on white, but you can hear that. Usually your hand goes white after that, which sort of is, but this one's pretty good. Normally they, they uh, fade here, so it's been looked after, but yeah, mate. Soon they're going to say smooth as. He's got the shoes on. So yeah, we'll run you through that. What else we got here? Oh, we got the big bad boy. And then we got the beast. So we'll, we'll do another video on this soon, guys. We'll keep you posted what's happening. We've kept it in the dark a bit. To be honest, we haven't really done much, but we raised the back a bit because it was just, it was too low. It was too low. So just removing all the rubbish from the car, anything that still needs to be here. Um, found a stain or two that we've got to fix. Roof lining's pretty good. Clean all that up. Clean all the chassis rail up, wheels. So it's actually it's actually pretty good. He's kept it pretty well. We'll clean that up, clean all the back up. If anyone's looking for a clean Hilux here, once we're done with well, this thing will look immaculate. Um just got these doors down a bit, they're a bit, a bit dirty. But oh you know overall it's She's not bad. 177,000 on the clock. That's nothing for these cars. Um, what do we got? Good line of us to clean and put back on for him. Get this looking spotless. Do a battery setup, not bad. Underside, always neglected on cars. Bug splatter. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Another day for the school as boys. Um, why isn't this play? Oh, the cable's there. Sorry, guys. There we go. Yeah, mad. Everyone always asks what vacuum we use. It's not a bit, uh, bit old, but shock vac. Lasts forever. Comes with the two attachments that we mainly use the brush and the long extended nozzle. And mate, it just works every time. So first step of pre-sale, we do the interior first. Why? Rob? Huh? Why do we do the interior first? Well we start from inside out. Because you're dry, the car's dry, we've got good light out here, so we're gonna do it outside in the daylight. You see more imperfections. Do the interior first, then we'll start doing the outside, go inside, polish it up and whatnot, and then we double check the interior. Because when we put conditioner, if it hasn't been treated in a long time, it'll go patchy because it soaks it in. So that gives us a chance in the afternoon to second or third coat it. So firstly you're using our interior clean to remove all the stains and dirt. Yeah. And then we'll go over it with our interior protect. So for this interior, they have like a, a natural satin sort of finish. So that's how we want to complement okay. it with our product. Um, so yeah, I'll get vacuuming, Rob's gonna do that. So the brush end right, won't scratch your interior unless you've got a super glossy interior, which I don't recommend you use it. But an interior like this, right, you're getting all those crevices. It's actually quite a little foyer. So you get a more of a deep clean. Does that make sense? So generally we go over with the brush, the brush is a bit worn, not new on coming. But we just go over all these two rocks and just like and that will get you up. All in those little tracks. 
Sadly, one of us has to do it, and it's going to be me today. anything boys lift these up do in there do underneath there and my pet hate is when people don't put the seats forward and back all the way when cleaning so when you're cleaning the back put the seat all the way forward when you're cleaning the front all the way back so it gets every little part of the car all the way back forward whatever you call it and you can gain full access to underneath underneath the rails doesn't take long, a couple of seconds, much thorough cleaner. Alright, next. <laughs> Poor bloke, I'll leave him alone. Give him shit all the time, eh? Alright, so all the wet spots are drying up. Interior's done. Rob is on to the engine bay using our multi-purpose. Soak it, brush it, and hose it. Like a bit of a slogan for our bottle. Soak it, brush it, soak it. No, soak it, brush it, hose it. Okay now, from the beginning. multi-purpose as soon as it hits um, the rubber it starts to turn yellow so because we're doing a slight paint correction on this we're able to brush all the edges yeah you wouldn't do this if you weren't correcting it because you uh, can leave obviously yeah, some light mire in the paint because it's going to remove oxidization so we can spray all the molds we can brush them all get all the dirt that's packed in between everything a little bit more detailed pre-sale. Not, yeah. not the standard, but it's pretty cool. So the customer obviously wants to get top dollar for this ute, so he's spending that bit extra to go that further further step and get all, all the nitty gritty. As you can see, all the molds, all the browning coming off them. Satisfying. So our multi-purpose is safe to use on all alloy as well, as you can see. Gotta make sure it's a cool day, you're not doing it in direct sunlight. Perfect conditions for it today. Oh, yeah. Overcast. Not that hot. Yeah. 
all the wheels are done underneath the guards all the molds all around the door handles now we're going on to claying the car and washing it so again this is a pretty in in-depth pre-sale detail so generally you don't you know, have to buff them with more of a spot buff or you know a bit of wax to sort of bring the shine up and that but again he wants to bring top dollar um, to the sale of his vehicle and he's looked after it so he wants to keep that going so we'll be doing just a single stage correction bring the color up make it pop get rid of any oxidization ready for a new owner all right so while rob's using the uh the twisty towel to drive the car in super quick times we get a uh, semi-used semi-dirty microfiber cloth and this is what we use to clean all the door jams Bella, beautiful. Small car, easy to get out. again I thought it was over but why? I'm gonna why, why, why don't you do it I did nothing <laughs> oh dear no anyway, no so ARB makes it so you can open these which is good then I can clean the back window that was harder than it looks much harder than it looks but it's clean it's done Good job, brother. Uh, All right, so what we've got here is a bit of diesel soot on the back rear chrome bar. A bit of chrome polish. And off she comes. After two or three applications, a bit caked on. But as you can see, it's coming off. So what it does, it gives it a nice sudden finish. Now, our tie milk can be used on bumper plastics and trims and stuff like that. And it's got UV protection in it, so it doesn't go greasy, protects the plastic, and it gives it that nice sudden natural finish. Not, you know, like high shine and silicon and all the dirt sticks to it, etc, etc. Et so, we'll go over the whole engine main now with it. The results shortly. Alright, we're done. So everything's been wiped down, anything black plastic or rubber has been wiped down with our tire mill. It takes about 15 20 minutes. But you get a nice beautiful clean natural looking engine base. None of this uh, silicon tire shine and dirt stick and bloody stuff. Wait. For a single stage correction, it looks, um, looks pretty good. Yeah, so the bottom protectors off. 
gain full access. Take two seconds, take it off, up around it, see you later. Um, all this side's done. We're looking super shiny now. Um, solid paint, so pretty easy to correct. On a single stage, we're getting about 85, 90% correction, which is more than what the customer expected. So, you know, with the light on, you can barely see anything other than some uh, deeper stuff that always won't come out with a single pass. So now we are going to make this black plastic look fresh again. Now, Osrin Re-Black, awesome stuff. Um, hit up Justin at Osrin, get yourself some. Now, I didn't bring the tripod today, because there isn't one-handed. But as you see, it comes out like, almost like honey. Wipe it in, sometimes you've got to give it two coats. Um, because of how dry some of these things can get. Literally just polish it in. Once it's dry, it's um, literally touch dry. It doesn't leave any grease at all. Non greasy, you won't find dirt sticking to it. And do that, okay, there. Makes it look brand new again. Sorry guys, I haven't even talked about that. But we a little test back here actually. So, on the cloth. And there you go. Here. We got Trev. I was gonna say genuine, but hey, it's not a Honda, is it? <laughs> Boost! Spark plugs for the uh, super bike over there. Better than mine. The black plastics around the mirrors. They've all been done in the re black from Osram. Wiper mold. Why take the van when you got this beautiful little beast? So the charade is running good. Um, I'm on the way to pick up some supplies for for us, and I need new spark plugs for this. It's got a little bit of a blood. Spaces to space these wheels out a bit, fill the fill the guards up a little bit. Oh, it's not even facing me. So yeah, it's going good. Round the boost up a bit, fix up the timing a little bit. Uh, she's running about 13 and a half pounds, 14 pounds of boost. So that's safe. That's good. We got head starts to hold it down. We've modified the carby to um to handle the boost. We've having lots of issues with that before. We found a guy in Blacktown that um did his little touch to it, and so far so good. Touch touch wood. Um, that's about it really. We're gonna we're gonna get a quote to get it resprayed in and out, so door jams, engine bay, all the body, and then just weigh up the option whether or not to spray it or not. If we invest that money, will we still get it back? Or you know, just keep it as it is. The paint's not that bad, but it does have a few little 
stone chips that have turned into surface rust spots and it's had a repair on one side which lets it down so everything else in this car is immaculate it's just the paint now so we'll see see if it's worth doing or not we've had a couple of people contact us wanted to buy the car as is one was from the uk surprisingly so it's getting um it's getting noticed to sell it then we can sort of invest all that money into the, the full crowd that we've got and get that looking shit full grease spray in and out and you know that's a that's an appreciating asset this has sort of reached its limit I think I don't think this will go up anymore me and Rob were discussing whereas the sprint it's always going up sort of thing slowly Can you see how dull the chassis rail looks? So we clear coat all the chassis to make it easier to clean, to protect it, and it just looks a lot like a them. Now when this dries, it will look fabulous. I'll show you this. This is the passenger side. Still drawing, but coming up tree. Just looks so much cleaner and ties in all underneath. And that's how it's done, fellas. Pre sale complete. Ready for a new owner. Nice and shiny, single stage correction. All underneath the guards. Nice and spotless. Wheels, interior. All the roof, underneath the basket, engine bay. That's how it's done. 